Hello ladies and gentlemen, thrill seeks of all ages, Costa Child here, Doncaster born, but built for theme parks and welcome to a theme park newsroom update where we've had breaking news from Six Flags Fiesta Texas over there in the USA and we have the officially announced Dr. Diabolical's Cliffhanger, the brand new Bulgar and Mabillard dive coaster, the world's steepest dive coaster opening in the park in summer 2022. Before we get started, I want to give a huge thank to you to every single one of you that was in the live stream um, that tonight, uh, the, the, the hundreds and nearly thousands of you that were there at some point during the live stream really means a lot. And uh, yeah, wonderful, wonderful numbers we packed into that live stream. Wonderful callers as well, ranging from the UK to Europe to USA. Loads of callers calling in and yeah, wonderful to see. Now, we are going to plan do, to do more of those call-in streams, so I will do more of them. Uh, but for this analysis, we're going to look in detail at the statistics uh, and share my thoughts on them as well. So, before we get started, guys, please like the video if you've loved it. Comment down below your thoughts and opinions. Subscribe if you are new around here. Click the notification bell so you never YouTube video. We've had a surge in new subscribers. Let's keep that going. Also, guys, check the description down below for social media links, the Google Forms link where you can submit your own ideas for the channel, and also the actual Fiesta Texas website for this new coaster is linked down there so you can check it out for yourself. And for now, guys, let's have a look at Dr. Diabolical's cliffhanger at Six Flags Fiesta Texas. So the official website description says as follows. Dr. Diabolical proclaims to have an elixir from the Fountain of Youth that is capable of preserving life. She lures unsuspecting visitors to partake, but little do they know that she's using them to fulfill her evil plan to frighten the world with her menacing creatures. Dot's Diabolical builds a machine to harvest the essence of human adrenaline and fear in order to nourish her ch creatures. This machine is called Dr. Diabolical's Cliffhanger. The device has three 21 passenger trains to lift riders 150 feet in the air, then locks them into a face first cliffhanger hold just before dropping them down a 95 degree beyond vertical plummet at 60 miles per hour. The machine travels on 2,501 feet of track through an Immelman inversion, a 270 degree zero G roll, a 75 foot near vertical drop, a well banked turn, an extreme airtime hill, a high speed speed spiral finale. Once you are exposed to this menacing machine, you shall live forever in fear. So let's have a look then at the POV for this ride. So as you can see, the gates open here. It's flawless trains, don't forget as well. Located in the Crack Axle Canyon Screen Punk District. Of course, replacing the Sundance Theatre. Uh, so you can see there, it goes up the lift. Uh, which is 150 feet tall, quite a speedy lift hill chain there as well. Um, you'll see by some of the concept images that flew across your screen uh, during that particular uh, report about all the, uh, the storyline and things like that, um, that it's it's just going to be you know a wonderful sight to see from off ride, and it's going to be uh, you know a wonderful ride to watch from off on the ground rather than up there in the air. Uh, so as it comes through on this turn, it heads you into the face first cliffhanger drop hold you there for that three second period before the big old vertical drop or beyond vertical drop 95 degrees into the Immelman inversion as it turns from the Immelman inversion it goes down and into the 270 degree zero g roll before banking right at the end of the roll then up into the mid course break run now in the mid course oh after the mid course break run as it slows itself down it will dip down um, this drop, um, this quite steep, this quite steep drop, before banking left up into a downward helix, um, before rising up into a little airtime hill, before riding down into a wild bank turn, banking to the right, then up into the brake run. So there we are, ladies and gentlemen, thrill seeks of all ages. That is Dr. Diabolical's Cliffhanger at Six Flags Fiesta, Texas. You'll have seen that we've released the official uh, trailer for this ride, so go and check that out. But oh my goodness me, what a coaster we have on our hands, ladies and gentlemen. Um, this is going to be a brilliant coaster. You've seen people share their thoughts when they called into the stream. Now I'm going to share my personal thoughts. Now, first of all, the name. Dr. Diabolical's Cliffhanger. 
Do I think it's the greatest name of all mankind? No. Do I think it's an amazing name? Yes. In my opinion, I think it's perfect. I did predict Apocalypse, so did a couple of other people, but you can't predict everything right, can you? <laughs> but Dr. Diabolical's cliffhanger sounds amazing. Um, I think it fits the storyline really well. The Fountain of Youth, we got that right. We called that storyline-wise. We called it. I called it. You called it. We all called it. Well, nearly all called it. Um, but the name suits the story perfectly well. Um, in essence, you are dipped into this fountain of youth and you are back out the other side and taking the fear and adrenaline out. And it, it, it just, it, it's, it's a lovely storyline. The fact that there's the twists and turns involved in the storyline as there is in the coaster layout, it's amazing. The fact that Six Flags is working with B&M again. Might I add, and this is a fun fact, this is uh, Coast Chow's fun fact of the night, or day, depending on how you're watching this. This is the first B&M project at Six Flags since X-Flight at Six Flags Great America, the B&M Wing Coaster, in 2012. How significant is that? For Six Flags Fiesta Texas 30th anniversary in 2022, this is the first B&M project in 10 years. I mean, the stars just align. The stars just flaming align, don't they? Um, now, the colour scheme, orange supports, red and black track, am I a fan of that? I love the look of it. I think it looks brilliant. Um, the flawless trains, I love the style of them. Now, the big question with the trains is, are they going to go with the original vest design, or are they going to go for the newer B&M vest re re restraints? Personally, I think they're going with the newer vest restraints. It seems like the direction to go, it seems like the direction they're going in. That looks what we're looking at from the concepts as well. It looks like the new B&M vest restraints. So, looks like we're going with the new ones. Um, in terms of the elements, I love them. The Zero G roll looks epic. The Immelman loop looks incredible. Um, and I really think this could be a great coaster. Overall, this could be a wonderful coaster for the park. Do I think it could be the best coaster in America or the best in the world? It's hard to say at this point, but I think it's definitely one of my bucket list coasters. And as I said on the live stream, you know, I would work, I would go get another job. I would go and earn as much money as possible just to fly out to Texas next summer to ride this. Because Dr. Diabolical's cliffhanger looks epic. And I would love to get down to Texas at some point to try it. Um... This is a wonderful investment for the park, a wonderful coaster for Six Flags, great to see the B&M partnership back in action, and I think this could be an underrated, one of the most underrated coasters for 2022, 100% one of the most underrated. The GP's going to love it, the enthusiasts will love it, I've got a good feeling about this one. So, shout out to Fiesta Texas for a brilliant fan event, shout out to Six Flags for making an incredible coaster, five years in the making by the way. That is going to be it from this analysis. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. And for now, guys, my name is Coast Shall. Keep living the coast life. And I'll see you guys in the next video very, very soon. Take care, guys. Have a diabolical, fantastic day. You see what we did there? Keep your head back. Hold on tight. You must escape.